hello everyone welcome back again in today's video we are making multi-purpose liquid soap as we all know soap is one of the essential commodities needed for our day-to-day -day use and in this video i am going to show you how to make one in the comfort of your home to begin i will introduce you to the chemicals needed for this production first is nitrous soap next is the soda ash followed by caustic soda this two goes hand in hand and then we'll go in with our tetrapon. After that is the sulfonic acid. This two also goes hand in hand. All of those things has already been measured out properly. Next is the SLS rice, followed by the sodium triphosphate. That's the STPP. And then we have the foam booster. And as the name implies, it helps to boost the foaming power of your soap. Don't worry, I'm going to list out the um, functions of all the ingredients in the description box. Then we have the preservative. This is to help the shelf life of your soap. The fragrance, color. That is all we need for this liquid soap production. Now let's bring everything together to form our liquid soap. In this bowl, I'll go in with 10 liters of water and that is going to be the base of my production. But before I start the production, I want to dissolve my SLS rice in water for later use. You don't need to keep it overnight, just you know, mix it before you start production and it is going to dissolve by itself before you get to when you need it. Next, I want to dissolve my soda ash in water too. Please note that you always add powder to water and not water to powder. So I'm going to dissolve those two and then set aside. Then also dissolve my caustic soda in another liters of water. I think five liters of water also for the caustic soda. And then, then set aside also. Now let's go back to the big bowl. Okay, so this is where we are going to mix in everything. Now I'm going in with my nitro soap, which is the base for the liquid soap and also a thickener. This nitro soap is best added while you are stirring it in. You don't want to leave it. If you do, it is going to develop lumps and you will not like the outcome of your liquid soap. So as you're adding it gradually, make sure you're mixing and mixing and mixing. That is all you need for this liquid soap. You need to know how to mix properly. So I already added my soda ash and then I'll still go on to mix, mix and mix for at least five minutes before going in with the caustic soda. Just like I said when I was showing you the chemicals, I said these two goes hand in hand. So you just bring them in almost at the same time, but you have to give it five minutes interval while mixing. Like you mix for five minutes, you go in with the next chemical, you mix for five minutes. Now I'm going in with the text upon after which i also go ahead to mix 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 you see at this point you really need to mix in the stacks upon very well because it is a jelly like um chemical and you don't want to find it somewhere at the bottom of your production after you are done producing your liquid soap next is the text upon i would still go in with that and then mix 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 and mix don't worry wherever you're buying your liquid soap material for just tell them the liters you're producing they are going to label out the other the chemicals will go in to your production and here i've added my stpp that is the sodium triphosphate after this i'll still go on to mix 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 you see i keep emphasizing on mix 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 because that is all you need to do after they must have measured your liquid soap materials for you you have to do the work of mixing now my sls rice has fully dissolved and i have added it to the mixture and you can still mix still mixing mixing and mixing please so i'll keep mixing and mixing and mixing and don't worry in the beginning of the video i was showing you the chemicals and then i told you the names of the chemicals because i just want you to get familiar with the names of your chemicals you don't need to mention them one after the other when you get to the market just tell them you want liquid soap material materials or chemicals and they are going to sell it and measure it out accurately for you they will even go as far as labeling it in the order it will go into your production so do not worry about the names i'm only trying to make you get familiar with the names just tell them you want to produce they'll ask you 10 liters 20 liters 30 liters just tell them the liters you want to produce and it will be sold to you i've added my foam booster and before i added the foam booster i added the rest of the water that i kept aside before i started the production now i'll go in with my preservative like i said this will help 
with the shelf life of the soap this if you've watched this video to this extent please please and please subscribe to my channel yes that black button that has subscribed and it just hit on it once and you are subscribed to the channel thank you so much Here I have added my fragrance and I will go on to divide the soap into two because I want to mix in two different colors. One color yellow and one a very deep orange color. So after separating the ones I want to use for each of the colors, I will go in to add the colors. And while adding your colors, do not add the powder form. Make sure you mix it with water first and then go in with drops, drops and drops until you get the color you want. I really wanted a deep orange and a sharp yellow. So I went in with the amount I needed. When the color is being sold to you at the market, it comes in that nylon you saw me show you from the beginning of this video. Do not add everything if you know you don't want a very deep color. You do not add everything. Even if you want a deep color, there is a level of measurement you should go in with. I will put all of that in the slide in this video or somewhere in the description box. Please. So here I am portioning them already before adding in the colors. At the end of this production, I got a total of 30 liters and I bought all of those chemicals you saw for 5,000 naira. Yes, I bought everything for 5,000 naira. That's the orange color. So I had already mixed it with water. I was just going with the drops needed for the color I am looking for. So this is me mixing in the orange color. In the next bowl, I'll go in with the yellow color. I did the same thing with the powder. I mixed it with water and before going in with it. If you follow this video step by step in your production, trust me, you can never go wrong in your production because liquid soap happens to be one of the easiest soap you can produce. The reason being that where you're getting your chemicals from, they are going to help you measure out everything you need accurately. You don't even need to get home and start looking for scale to measure. Just tell them you want to produce 25 liters, 30 liters, 50 liters. They are going to measure it out for you and even label it for you. So you don't even need to start mentioning the names. Just go tell them you want to buy liquid soap material and you will be given. All you just need to do is to know how to mix, mix and mix because you don't want to have some of those white chemicals settle under your soap after you're done this is the next day after production yes you have to leave your soap for like 24 hours or 12 hours to settle and for the chemicals to you know blend in look at the color i wanted exactly this color and i get and i got it this is it the next day all the foam bubbles and everything that it had on top of it is all gone look at it and this soap is super foamy and very thick if you do not want yours to be this thick you can add more water to it but i wanted it to be exactly with this thick consistency now i want to pack some as um, a sample for a customer the person wanted something deep and very thick so this bottle as usual i got from from ojota market everything i'm going to be using for this packaging i got from ojota market please, if you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel please do that now as this is the only way youtube gets to suggest my videos to all the people that need it thank you So I'm done filling the number of bottles I want to give out. I'll go on to use my tamper proof nylon on it. This nylon you're seeing here is called the tamper proof nylon and it comes in 100 pieces. These 100 pieces you're seeing I bought for 700 naira at the same market. So you just go in 
with your tamper proof um, nylon with your heat gun you're going to melt the tamper proof nylon on your plastic with the heat gun this nylon usually comes in different sizes this is the smallest size it is used for bottles so I will melt it with my heat gun and then go on to tie the ribbon and if you're producing for an event make sure you ask your customer the color they want or the color of the day so that you'll be in sync with the event and when picking your ribbon make sure you go with the color of the soap and your graphics design should also have a touch of the color of the soap and that of the ribbon which is definitely going to be the same if you don't want to produce an orange color soap and then you're tying a green ribbon or a blue ribbon on it it will not look nice at all everything will just look shabby so you have to go in line with the color of the day and also your colors should blend well you should pick your colors well when you are producing again in this video i'm going to show you how to tie the ribbon in just one way i have three or four other ways of tying the ribbon but i'm going to show you the first one in this video and then in the next video which is going to be the main production for the sample i am making i'll show you how to tie the ribbon in the, i'll show you how to tie the three other methods and then i'll show you the shiny ribbon that i'm going to use for the main production but this is a sample like i said and I'm going to use this play ribbon to show the customer what they are getting and of course some customers will add, ask for the light one and some will ask for this deep color so this particular customer wanted something this deep and very thick and I made it in a sample I'm going to sell off the rest but then I'm giving this one out as a sample for the customer to pick Just watch to know how I tie the ribbon. You can repeat this part until you get this particular style really well. And this happens to be one of the easiest ways of tying the ribbon. The other three methods I'm going to show you in the next video, which I already filmed and edited. Um, those ones are a little bit complicated. And then there's another one that is simple, right? But this one happens to be another simple style. So this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did while making it, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment. And if you have any questions, you can drop it in the comment section and be sure to get an answer from me or the community. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.